success is 10% tactics, 90% belief system. It's the day in, day out consistency yeah. of business, of saying on the good days, I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna give 110%. On the bad days, I'm gonna still come with the same energy and I'm gonna keep doing this, right? So Always lead with value, you guys, and the sale is gonna come. Never lead with the sale in mind. And one of the biggest secrets in all of business this is your favorite country cousin JT back in with another video. I'm here again with Miss Cassandra. If you missed our first video together, definitely go check it out. She broke down how to create your first digital product and then how to create a community of people that can't wait to buy what it is that you have to sell. She's back again because I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube and you're wondering who's telling the truth, who not. So we're going to talk not just about Miss Cassandra's story. She gave us that last time. That video is in the description now for those of you all that have missed it. We're going to talk about her students, people that were just like you. They saw her on social media, decided to take action. And what kind of numbers were like at least two of your students that we talked about have reported back to you? So one of my students did a hundred thousand dollars in a week based off the information I gave her. And then another student did thirty one thousand dollars in a day. All right. So these are real dollars, U.S. Real dollars, dollars, United States dollars. Right. So imagine if you can create and not even imagine like it's not possible, but just imagine if you can learn a skill and then consistently apply that skill and replicate this success in greater. Because anytime you hear some numbers from people, what I want you to start thinking about is, hey, this is not the ceiling of what I can do. This is just one of the milestones. It might be the floor for you. Right. It might be midway point for you, but regular human beings just like you, because you'll watch YouTube and be like, she got a bunch of followers. You got a bunch of followers. Yeah. I only got 12 people that follow me online. I can't do it. Well, you can mm -hmm. getting into it, though. Right. So at what point in time did you decide, hey, I want to teach other people what it is that I know how to do? Um, I would say when I quit my, so I quit my job back in 2019 to make t-shirts full time. What was you doing before your last year? Warehousing. So <laughs> everything, because I didn't graduate from 12th grade, so I've always worked at temp services doing warehouse job, picking, packing, sweeping the flow, you know, yeah. dusty stuff. Yeah. Um, and then when I got into making t-shirts in 2017, in 2019, I ended up quitting my job to make t-shirts full time. Okay. But the t-shirts slowed down oh. and I was on the verge of getting evicted. So I'm sitting at home like, oh my gosh. I'm sitting on inventory. What if I use this inventory to sell to other businesses like me? Mm -hmm. That's when I created my Facebook group community. But then mm -hmm. they was like, well, we don't know how to use these inventory. Can you show us how to make it? So mm -hmm. now I started going live teaching them how to make the t-shirts and what if we don't buy the inventory. All right. Hey, that's a great story, you guys, because somebody watching this video, at least one of you all, y'all have a problem. And the reason why you can't overcome that problem is because you haven't realized that your problem is an opportunity to be a solution for somebody mm -hmm. else. That's what she just told us, and I don't want you all to miss that. So yeah. she had the inventory. She knew how to make the thing, but just at the time, going B2C, which is business to consumer, yeah. right? There wasn't a huge demand at that moment, right? Doesn't mean it's a bad business. All businesses have ups and downs. But instead of her quitting and saying, okay, I'm going to just go live on the streets, she was creative because your only limitation is your imagination. And she said, well, okay, who can I serve with this? Well, there's somebody somewhere that doesn't know what you know. And she was able to leverage that and say, okay, I'm going to go share what I know with somebody that doesn't know what I know. So that way they can have a better life as well. All right. So, okay. Going a little bit deeper than that. Tell me about if you can remember way back when, has it always been easy for you to build a community like oh. day one, thousands of people? Oh, no. Right. <laughs> Uh, I would say when I first started building a community, the way I did it, I got a lot of backlash because I okay. was just inboxing people, DMing them, saying, hey, join my free community. But I was doing it in other people's groups. So I was going <laughs> in other groups that was doing what I wanted to do. And I would DM they people and they called that um, spamming. Spamming. And it's <laughs> called, um, I want to say hijacking. Um, it's a word in the crowd community. They was like, this girl is going to communities, telling people to join her community, trying to, so yeah. I stopped doing that. And I just yeah. reached out to the actual person that owned the group, like, hey, can we do some type of value for value? I want to help, want you to help me grow my group. I can come over here and teach in your group. And then that worked really, really good. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's one way that you can start growing your own community out there for anybody that's curious to know, okay, I have no idea where to start because you're hearing people talk about 
free communities, paid communities, building an audience of people that would love to buy whatever it is that you would love to sell. But you like, I don't know where to start. It's so many different social media platforms. Should I start a YouTube channel? Should I start an email list? Should I start a podcast, Instagram, Pinterest? There's so much noise out there, but she just made it too simple for you. Hey, look, go find a community that's already similar to the community that you want to create and just reach out, right? Worst thing they can say is no. Understand this. If you never ask, you've already told yourself no. So there's literally no risk and only upside. If you ask them and they say no, that was the answer before you asked anyway. If you ask them and they say <laughs> yes, then now you got unlimited upside in that opportunity. I got I, another way. Go too. ahead. So you can also go into these communities and give value to the people in the community. So say for instance, somebody say, oh my gosh, I need help making this t-shirt. I'm always messing up. You can go come in and say, well, this is what worked for me, giving free value. If that value is good, they're going to follow you and be like, dang, she know what she's talking about. And on your page, you need to have a link to your community so they can come join over there and get some more value. That worked That's really good for me, too. All right. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, save this video. If you somewhere that you can take notes, take notes. But if you can't, save this video, right? Community is so important because I want you to understand. I'm going to say this fast. But you can rewatch this video infinitely, right? So by building your own community, you really are insulating yourself from future unknown dangers. What I mean is that is that typically, how do we, you know, market businesses, paid advertisements? Probably seen an ad in this video you're watching now. Probably gonna see ads all up and down all of your timelines, right? Well, the problem with that is that ad costs are gonna go up every single year. Yeah. Just supply and demand. If you say, hey, I wanna target a million people a month this month, five years from now, to target those exact same million people a month Ooh. will cost way more than whatever you're spending now to reach the same number of people. Yeah. What if you had your own community of people and built that up to a million people or whatever you want to build it up to, and now next time you have the next product the next service, the next information, say, hey, you guys, here's my newest, whatever it is that you provide. And question for you, can I have a community no matter what it is that I sell? Like, what if I don't sell a pair? What if I sell like, like I got a food trailer, like I sell places, I like to eat. Like, so <laughs> what if somebody like, they like, I don't sell apparel. Can any of niche course, have a community? if you like to eat, you could, you can invite other people that does the same thing. You can be selling mm -hmm. your own seasoning, your own digital cookbook, like, yeah, you want people in the community that does what you do or want to do what you do, but yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. So don't be limited because sometimes you'll watch a video and you'll take it like literal and we do want you to take the value literally, yeah. but you'll say, okay, I don't want to sell apparel, so I can't do this. Yeah. No, no matter what it is that you want to sell, whether you want to get into health and beauty, fitness, yeah. food, apparel, financial literacy, whatever you're thinking that I'm not even calling out right now, you need a community for that and you can build a community for that no matter what, right? Okay, so we got our first uh, people in our community, all right? In the previous YouTube video, you told us, hey, start on Instagram, yeah. building our community, right? So we know, hey, we went and found people, drove them to our Instagram account. How in the world do I get these people that went from this free page to my free Instagram account to give me any money at all. Cause I'm still a stranger. Okay. All right. And I know that's a fear a lot of people have as well. It's like, man, these people don't know me. Uh-huh. Yep. So again, when you promote on social media, mm -hmm. you promote that free content. Yep. When they come downloaded, you're getting their email. Mm -hmm. Through the email, you're going to be sending them weekly, you know, emails, nurturing them, educating them. Hey, join my community. You're going to get more of this product that you just downloaded for free. I'm going to train you. I'm going to do this. So getting them inside of the program. When they mm -hmm. get inside of the free program, now you're saying, hey, this is all the free information I'm going to provide, but now I have this paid program where you can learn more. Mm -hmm. So I like to get people through the door through free. Yep. When you get in there and you see the value, they going to ask you, do you got something paid? Like, that's <laughs> yeah. how they do me. They like, look, this is so good. Where can I pay more money at? Like, I mm -hmm. literally have to turn down. <laughs> like, I don't have nothing right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got people through the door and they will be asking you if you truly have value, right? Yeah. So don't don't pretend to have value, right? If you truly have value and how do you know that you have value actually helping people? Yeah. Can they take your free content and get any result with it at all, right? Now, if they can't do that, then yeah, they're going to come back and ask, hey, questions about this, question about that. And not saying that your free content got to make them a millionaire, right? But it gave them some positive result yeah. that made them associate that positive feeling with you 
then they come back and then they're willing to buy more, right? Mm -hmm. I said it in the previous video, but I don't want to assume you watched all of our videos together, but I do want to remind you here, right? So bear with me if you've seen them both. The amount of value that you're giving somebody in the community yeah. pales in comparison to the price you charge, all right? So I know you got paid communities that are as low as $27 to over $300, may even be more than that by the time you watch this. However, like for 300 and something dollars, all right, if, if whatever she's giving me, whatever you're giving me allows me to have a better life, I can live in a better neighborhood, I can better take care of my loved ones, that's a drop in the bucket, yeah. right? And even if you personally don't feel like you would pay that much right now, there's somebody somewhere that that problem is such a big pain point in their mm -hmm. life, they'll do whatever it is they could to get that. All right. So now let's switch gears. We're about to talk about these mentees a little bit. I need to know a little bit about them. Right. Were they, were they male, female, both female? female? Yeah. OK. All right. Shout out to all the female entrepreneurs <laughs> out there as well. Right. You could come in and kill it. Right. Yeah. One did over thirty thousand dollars in a day. Another one did over one hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. in a week. Right. Uh, to your knowledge. And it's OK if you if you don't know this or not. Uh, were they already big time entrepreneurs before they found out about you? No, they didn't even have a skill. All right. So these are women that didn't even have a skill, were able to connect with Miss Cassandra, learn a skill, monetize that skill through building a community and then building a membership around that and selling people products. Right. Miss Cassandra, a bad woman. Right. So y'all <laughs> definitely should connect with her. All right. And before we even go deeper with it, if somebody says, hey, hey, that's enough for me right now. If, if you could take me from not knowing nothing to having the ability to make thirty thousand dollars a day, over one hundred thousand dollars in a week. This is not promising or guaranteeing that you'll do that because she can't guarantee that you're going to bring the same work ethic that she going to bring to it. Right. So we're not guaranteeing that, oh, 100 percent, everybody watching this is going to make 30,000 in a day, 100,000 in a week. Right. Right. The only promise that we can give here is that she has the right answer and she's going to afford you the opportunity to learn what that right answer is. And then it's completely up to you what you do with it consistently or not. All right. So what's the best way to connect with you directly? And then we'll go deeper on these mentees. So definitely join me in my free class coming up for the next six weeks at passion, the number two, profitsclass.com. And you can also follow me on all social medias, Crafting with Cassandra. All right. So, okay. Tap in with her. All of her websites, all of her social media will be linked down in the description below, right? So definitely connect. Let her know Cousin JT sent you. But let's keep going a little bit. Okay. They didn't have a skill. Nope. That You taught them the skill. Tell me a little bit about, if you can remember, and we're not going to disclose your personal information, ladies, if y'all ever watch this video, but... As somebody that has helped, at this point, thousands of people better them their lives, what would you say were the character traits, if any, about these women that you said, okay, this is what I noticed they had, and I think that that might have helped them be successful? Because I think oftentimes we discount the intangibles, right? People think, like, just tell me what to do, I'll make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer that success is 10% tactics, 90% belief system, right? So... Was there anything that you noticed that both of these women had in common? Their why. Like, why okay. they wanted to make money. Why did they want to, you know, be an entrepreneur? So, one of them, she got kids, of course. So, she okay. wanted to leave a legacy for them. The other one, I would say, like, she came from poverty. Okay. So, she just wanted a different lifestyle. So, if you don't really know your why, if you're just in it to make money, that should never be, I'm going to mm -hmm. leave with, I want to make a sale. I always talk about value, value, value. Mm -hmm. But just knowing your why, like, who you doing it for, why you doing it, it's going to make your drive a lot more you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just wanting to make more money, you guys, as much as you believe right now that, hey, that's going to be enough to make me turn it up. Right. This wow. is the thing, though. Right. So if you're only motivated by making money, the inevitabilities of business is that there's ups and downs. Right. Yeah. So your gradual trajectory, if we mapped it out over the long term, could be that you're doing well. But if we like compress that down, it might be made money, didn't make money, lost money, made money, right? And that's what you're going to be dealing with day to day. Now, month to month, year to year, it's still going to be gradually up. If you're only in it to make money on those day to days where it's slow, mm -hmm. where it's bad, you're going to say, hey, I'm out. And you're never going to spend the time to get good at anything. Mm -hmm. And without investing the time and the consistency, getting the reps in, right? So, hey, you can't tell it now. But once upon a time, I was in the United States Marine Corps and I was bench pressing 380 pounds. 19! Yeah! 
Horny, you got some horny. I'll kill myself if I do it now. <laughs> but I didn't start off day one and say 380 pounds, let's go, right? right? I started off with dumbbells, right? So we start off with 20, 30 pound dumbbells, and then you work your way up to eventually, now you're on the bench press, and then you increase that weight over time. Reason why I tell you that is if you can understand how, yes, you may have the ability to get stronger over time, but you don't start off with that weight. Yes, you have the ability to make a lot of money, but it may not happen today. Right. The same way you got to warm your muscles up. You got to consistently do it. I can't say, OK, well, today I'm going to do the 10 pounds and then I'm going to wait a year. I'm not going to lift nothing. I'm going to put 380 back up there. You're going to kill yourself. Right. <laughs> it's the day in, day out consistency yeah. of entrepreneurship, of business, of saying on the good days, I'm going to show up. I'm going to give 110 percent. But you know what? On the bad days where my website is acting funky or when somebody want a refund and I know it's not legit, I'm going to still come with the same energy and say, you know what? What God has for me, he has for me. Yeah. And I'm going to keep doing this. Right. So that's why. And that's my long winded answer as I to like why that. money can't be your only why. No. Right. You will give up too soon before you ever even figure out how to make real money. If your only reason for doing it is wanting yeah. to make more money. So like those two ladies, you said one motivated by living a legacy for her kids. The other one, she wanted a better overall lifestyle for herself. Yeah. All right. So, okay. They had a, a big why. Now, when they got in the program, I don't know how long the program is. I'm assuming it's as long as they want to stay in. Right. All right. Were these women, and of course, if, I know this might have been a while back, so you don't got to remember all the details. Were these women action takers immediately, or do you think that they stayed in it six, eight, 12 months before they did something? Um, they was, it was immediately because all they right. came in with that why. So yep. I'm, I'm coming into this to learn this because of this. So right. It was definitely action takers immediately. All right. And the reason why that's super valuable, you guys, is I want you to understand that there's a concept known as immediate imperfect action. Right. The first time I made a YouTube video, I didn't know how to edit. I said, um, um, um a lot. I didn't even know when to upload, why to upload. Like it was terrible. And those videos are still up if you want to go laugh at me. But over time, I have better videos. If this video is bad, blame Isaiah. But now... <laughs> I've gotten better over time. Now this is a very profitable asset to my portfolio mm -hmm. of assets, right? But what if I said, I'm going to wait until I know how to make a perfect YouTube video mm -hmm. before I upload it to YouTube? Well, I would have never uploaded. What if you say, I'm going to wait till I know everything about creating products, creating communities, and then creating memberships around those communities from Miss Cassandra before I start. Well, guess what? You're not going to live long enough to do it, right? Because you'll never know everything. No. So when you jump into the program, I want you to jump in and understand this. Will you make mistakes? A hundred percent, right? I make mistakes every day, right? Maybe Miss Cassandra does it, but, but yeah. at, even as successful people, that doesn't make you a perfect person. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get into entrepreneurship, there's going to be what we call the learning curve. Learning curve is pretty much the distance between what you know now and what you need to know and consistently do mm -hmm. to make the money that you want. So that learning curve varies person to person. Somebody's going to jump in immediately, resonate with her and say, hey, a weekend, look, I'm taking action. I'm making yeah. money, right? Somebody else is 30 days. Somebody else is 90 days, right? Life is about who makes it, not who makes it the fastest. It is way better for you to say, I'm going to stick with this because it's a proven way to make money forever, and I know it is, and say, okay, I'm going to stick with it until it works, until jumping from thing to thing and thing to thing, right? Yeah. So there's something called a cycle of new ventures, and it's going to apply to everything that you do, no matter if you choose to do her thing, his thing, or whatever next YouTube video you watch. So you have to understand that you got to stay with something long enough for it to be profitable, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so they had a big why. They took immediate, I mean, imperfect I mean, action. Were they scared? Do you think that they were scared? Shoot, yeah. All right. Definitely. Because you know, when you're coming in, you don't know if you're going to lose money, win money. If you're going to lose, like, friends, time, like, all of this trial and error. Yeah. So, they, yeah, they scared of the impossible. All right. When, when you were scared way back when, right, 
What made you say, I'm going to keep going even though I'm scared? My why. Okay. So going back, that why I keep coming up is super yeah. important. All right. So, yeah. So if you get scared and you got a weak why, which would be making money, you're like, well, I ain't making no money. So I might as well leave. <laughs> right. So definitely having a bigger why than making money yeah. will keep you consistent. And one of the biggest secrets in all of business is consistency. Right. Believe it or not, if you do the same thing long enough, you can't help but get good at it. And you're going to increasingly get good at that thing over time as well. I don't want to get too like in the weeds about these ladies. I just wanted to share some personality traits that are universal. Big why immediate imperfect action. They did it while they were scared. You guys, you want to know what makes you less scared is by having a mentor that has already done it before. They know the ups, they know the downs. They can tell you, hey, look, we're not going to do it this way. We're going to do it this way because they know about problems you don't even know exist yet, right? So they're going to help you out by doing that, all right? And Tony Robbins said this best, but I'm going to steal it from him, right? And he always talks about where does fear come from? Fear comes from a lack of knowledge, right? I'm from the country. I grew up afraid of dogs and afraid of snakes, right? Now, I don't have no pet snakes, but I got some dogs now, and they massive. They like 200 and something pound dogs, right? Ooh. Now, what changed between me being a child that would have run away from the smallest dog ever to now having dogs that are like biggest grown men was my understanding of that, right? So understand this, whether it's dogs, snakes, or business, anything in life you're afraid of, it comes from a lack of knowledge. So... You don't say, hey, look, I'm never going to do this business because I'm afraid of it. You say, okay, I recognize that really, if I pull back the cover and say, why am I truly afraid to start this business? Why am I truly afraid to connect with Miss Cassandra, consistently do what she tells me to do until I get the result that I want in my life? It's going to come from some level of fear. And that fear comes from you not fully understanding that this works, mm -hmm. right? If I told you guys, because your belief system is super important, right? If I told you guys, hey, look, I came to your backyard. I dug a hole. I buried a million dollars in your backyard. If you believe me, you wouldn't even be watching this video no more, <laughs> right? But most people are still watching it. And it's because your belief system is that didn't really happen. What I want you to understand is that you have to adopt that belief system that, hey, even though I'm afraid of it, I know this is proven. Miss Cassandra has testimonies. We just gave you two for the sake of time. But there's many men and women that join her community and are getting results. And I challenge you to be the next one that, you know, gets whatever you want out of life by creating a product. Even if you don't know what that product is, she'll help you figure it out. Yeah. Once you create that product, how do you build an audience of people that can't wait to sell whatever it is that you want to sell them? and then monetize that in various ways, right? Ooh. All of the relevant links are down in the description below. Anything else you want to share to people before we get out of here? I love that. You, you're yeah. good at this, but <laughs> always lead with value, you guys, and the sale is going to come. Never lead with the sale in mind. Lead with value. Give that value first, and the sale is going to always come. All right. There you have it, you guys. Connect with Miss Cassandra. Click those links down below. Till next time, so much for stay hustling. JT Automation, I'm gone. <laughs>